Good morning, Mrs. Coriel's class. Good morning, Mr. Potter. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. 4.4 adding strike and decimal. So we finished these notes before winter break, and now we're going to review the notes that we finished before winter break so that you guys can get into your assignment here in a couple of minutes. Sound good? Yeah. Uh, the I can statement was I can add strike decimals, can you? Yeah. All right. We know a lot about decimals. We know that they live between 0 and 1. We know they're part of a whole number. We know they are less than 1 but greater than 0. We also know they are what? We know that the sum is and the answer to a subtraction problem is a all right so when we're adding and subtracting fractions I'm sorry when we're adding and subtracting decimals same as when we're comparing decimals there's a process right eyes up on the screen everybody I don't see everyone's eyes up on the screen all right the process is this um, when adding and subtracting decimals the first thing we're going to do is we're going to do what stack our numbers, stack our numbers. Okay, after we stack our numbers, or as we're stacking our numbers, we're going to make sure that we line up the place value and the decimals. After we line up the place values and decimals, we're going to even everything out by adding what? Zero. And then solve means the same as? Evaluate. Here's an example. Number five. We had 42 hundredths plus 5 tenths, yes? Yes. Yeah. So I wrote 42 hundredths, 0 0.42, and then I needed to add, so I wrote plus, Five tenths. I need to make sure that my decimal points are lined up, right? Yeah. I wrote my five tenths, yes. yes. But are those numbers evened out? Are my reds evened out? Yeah. No, so I even out by adding a zero here, and I even can add a zero there, right? Yeah. After that, you simply add those numbers, yes? Yeah. Okay. Another example down here, four and two hundredths minus three and fifty-six hundredths. Again, you're going to line up your decimal point by stacking the numbers, yes? Yeah. Stacking the numbers, yes? Okay, question. After every single whole number, there's always a what? An invisible decimal. An invisible decimal point. So like, for example, the number four can technically be written as four with a decimal point, yes? Yes? yes. I still up on the screen? So then if you had to solve a problem like, oh, I, let's say six minus one and 56 hundredths. So I wrote my number six, yes? yes. And I wrote one and 56 hundredths, but I don't have a decimal point. That six doesn't have a decimal point, does it? It has an invisible one unless we make it visible. So I can make it visible now, right? So now I can write my 1.56 or my 1 in 56 hundredths with my decimal points lined up, yes? And then I can just go ahead and add my zeros to even it out. Does that make sense? We cool?